Hello again, my friends. So we are on approach for the end of our project. And today we will prepare the footer area. So typically what's in a footer area, I'm just going to throw in an email section. So that means we're going to put together an email section here. So why don't we just open the bootstrap documentation section to start. I'll open the form section here. And when we open this up, we can see what we can do with forms in general. So first of all, there's a simple form structure, and this field starts with a form tag before writing the form code. And as you can see, the form group class is used for each section in the form field. So here is a required section for email, then password and a button. Different form group class was used for each of these. And as you can see, as you scroll down, there are way more examples. Examples where optional fields are added to the form control or classes that we can use when uploading a file. So here, while creating the form fields, we're going to make changes in the dimensions just by adding large or small. Now with the read-only feature, we only provide visibility and don't allow any changes when we click on it. Okay, so that's a pretty good tour of what we can do with a ready-made code. So just again, when you look at it like this, you can include many more different designs on our page. It's going to be up to you. I'm just preparing a simple structure. An area where an email address is entered and a message section and a submit button so that it gets sent. So why don't we create our footer area and then we can edit this section together. Okay, so here I'm starting to write the code in the HTML file. Here we can just create two columns for one follow us and one more for message. So in other words, you can think of it as a single row, two column, and prepare it as such. So I'll start with a footer tag in this section, and I'll give the footer ID as our ID, and I'll add PY5 to make the space. And I create the row and the first column. First column has a title with H2, then paragraph and social media icons. That gets created quickly. So I'm using the flex class for icons here, right? I use the deflex and flex row class. And when we look at the first column, That looks good. Of course, the background colors and fonts may change, but we'll get that later in the CSS file. So let's go ahead and start up the second column. So there's the column, and before creating the form tag, I'll put a div and write our header here. I mentioned here that I created a simple structure. I'm creating a field for email, and I'll use a text class. I use a PY class for space.
Likewise, I create a field for the message. And here I can use text area for the text field. And I'll just add a submit button. And there's our second column. So now I know what you want to do. You want to go and start editing the CSS file. But first, I want to give the footer a background color here. And the width will be 100%. Next, I'll use margin padding and the display flex properties for the container. I will equalize the distances between saying hmm, justify content space between and center with align items. You've got to remember that from the first CSS lessons, right? So I'll give margin value for our social media icons. And here I can change the Color, change the font for the links we added. And I'll just give the font properties for the titles that we added. And I want them all to be uppercase. And I'll give the margin value for the contact us section here. Okay, see, I like this. And I'll change the color of the articles that we use. All right, so when you step back and have a look at the changes, that's pretty much the shape that we want. So now we've got a lot of information about Bootstrap, huh? Now, Yes, the page that we prepared is almost finished and that pretty much completes what, we've, what we set out to do. But there are parts that we need to go back and fix. So in our next lesson, we're going to do the overall editing of our website. Okay, see you then. Goodbye for now.